In this video we will explore the most iconic American bands of the 60s and 70s, Sly and the Family Stone. Unfortunately, some members of the band have passed away over the years, leaving behind a legacy of incredible music that has influenced generations of musicians. On our channel we feature such videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for such. Cynthia Robinson she was born on January 12, 1944, in Sacramento, California. She grew up in a musical family and started playing the trumpet at a young age. In the early 1960s, Cynthia joined a local R&B band called the Chitlins, which later evolved into the Loading Zone. In 1966, Cynthia was invited to join a new band called Sly and the Family Stone. The band was led by Sly Stone, a charismatic singer and songwriter who had already achieved some success as a producer and songwriter for other artists. Sly was looking for a diverse group of musicians who could blend rock, funk, and soul music into a unique sound. Cynthia was one of the first members to join the band, along with her friend and fellow trumpeter Jerry Martini. Cynthia quickly became an essential part of the band's sound, providing bold and brassy horn arrangements that complemented Sly's vocals and the band's rhythm section. Sly and the Family Stone quickly became one of the most innovative and influential bands of the late 1960s and early 1970s. They were known for their high-energy performances, socially conscious lyrics, and catchy melodies. Cynthia played a crucial role in many of the band's biggest hits. She contributed trumpet and vocal parts to songs like, Dance to the Music, Everyday People, I Want to Take You Higher, and, Thank You, For Letting Me Be Myself Again. Her trumpet solos were often a highlight of the band's live shows, and her vocals added depth and soulfulness to the group's harmonies. Cynthia was also a co-writer on several of the band's songs, including St. James Infirmary and You Can Make It If You Try. Her contributions helped to shape the band's sound and message, which celebrated diversity, equality, and freedom. Sadly, Cynthia Robinson passed away on November 23, 2015, at the age of 71. Cynthia's cause of death was complications from cancer. She had been battling the disease for some time before her passing and had kept her illness private, choosing to focus on her music and her family during her final months. Pat Rizzo He was a multi-talented musician who made a name for himself as a saxophonist, flutist, and arranger. He joined Sly and the Family Stone in 1973, during the band's final years, and played on some of their most memorable tracks. He quickly became a sought-after session musician and played with several famous artists, including Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, and Dean Martin. Rizzo also played on the soundtracks of several popular movies, including The Godfather, Rocky, and Dirty Harry. Sly and the Family Stone was a band that defied categorization, blending elements of funk, soul, rock, and psychedelic music to create a sound that was uniquely their own. Pat Rizzo's contributions to the band were significant, particularly in the way that he helped to expand their sound by incorporating his own jazz-influenced approach to the saxophone and flute. Some of the most notable songs that Pat Rizzo worked on with Sly and the Family Stone include, Family Affair, If You Want Me To Stay, Runnin' Away, and Thankful and Thoughtful. These songs are now considered classics, and Rizzo's contributions to them helped to define the band's sound during their final years. Although Pat Rizzo's time with Sly and the Family Stone was relatively brief, his impact on the band and on music in general cannot be overstated. His virtuosic playing and creative approach to his instruments helped to push the boundaries of what was possible in popular music. After Sly and the Family Stone disbanded, Pat Rizzo continued to work as a session musician and played with several notable artists, including Rick James, Diana Ross, and Neil Diamond. He also released several solo albums, including Heavy Love in 1978 and Pat Rizzo and the Blue Meanies in 1983. Sadly, Pat Rizzo passed away on April 4, 2022, at the age of 79. His death was announced by his family, who shared that he had been battling a long illness. Rest in peace to all the members of Sly and the Family Stone who have passed away, and may their music continue to bring joy and inspiration to their fans. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.